Hello, Jukka. How is it going for you at the moment? Hello, Arto. Chaos sign. Nice to be here. Uh, everything going absolutely great. Um, like, like it came out now a few days ago, public, that I have a new band that I'm a session bassist in, in Nightwish, and I couldn't be more happier and honored by the chance or this new new thing that I have. Um, it's just pure brilliance to play amazing music with very like-minded, amazing people. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't be happier regarding that. And otherwise, life is going good. We had, we have the Corona times, pandemic times, and it's been rough for everybody. But it's going good. It's going good. So obviously, before going to those virtual shows that you actually just played, I want to ask you a bit about the times when you actually were asked to join the band. So how did everything happen? Well, um, that was a, it was a few months back. I, I received a phone call from the Nightwish camp and um, was being asked if I would be interested of, of a bass player position regarding what has happened that Marco has left the band. And um, of course, obviously, when I got that phone call, I thought it was like, whoa, as an outsider, obviously, couldn't think that what, especially Nightwish, couldn't think of it even that these sort of things could happen. But of course, life is life. Um, and um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I immediately, of course, said that, yes, definitely, I would be interested that uh, I always listen to Nightwish. I always like their music a lot, very soulful music and um, yep that was a few months ago and then we made a few few arrangements and <clears throat> that was like two months ago approximately I was in Finland practicing I had like a meet and meet and greet we had a meet and greet before as well but another one where we uh, practiced together for the first time and see how the uh, playing playing wise the chemistries are going and and get to know each other more. And uh, kind of like a certain code of audition, obviously, of course, like any band who would find a new new guys to go come in or so, you need to have these things, of course. I would do the same if I would be on the other side of the table, if you know what I mean. Yeah, and obviously Nightwish is a big band, so obviously they need to know for sure that you will actually be there. <laughs> that is that is a very crucial point, definitely, yeah. Um, so yeah everything went good and then there was of course kind of like after the audition thing it was just everything went very smoothly and the guys guys said that uh, you're in and what did i say, say more than with the happiest happiest smile ever saying back i'm in <laughs> so but we're talking of course as a session musician spot now for the um, upcoming human nature tour and of course the world situation is now you never know how this is de developing hopefully everything is going to a better direction that how how even nightwish and any band in the world is getting shows so we will so, see we will see so obviously you said that you are familiar with the music hmm. like by listening to it but have you actually played a lot of like Nightwish songs in the past or, or was it like totally new field for you? No, I, ha I haven't played. I've, I've listened to Nightwish ever since the early Spine Farm days when they were there. And uh, Oceanborn, maybe from that onwards. And uh, music wise, I played in the past with a few kind of like not similar, but maybe that style of Jarna music in the past. But but I never never uh, played played Nightwish music like the songs ever tried them. But uh, and that was kind of like from a player's point of view, uh, I I couldn't believe it that when I started practicing the songs or trying them out even even before everything was settled, I just thought that I will try it out and. 
it just felt that I'm, oh, my playing style is something that it really fits to this. I had this feeling. And it was very, really, 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 of course, great to see then afterwards hearing from the other guys that, that it, they, they basically told me that it feels like that you've always been playing bass here. So obviously it, you have, you have very been, natural. Yeah. So obviously, like you said, like Nightwish belong to Spine Farm Records and you also have a history mm-hmm. with your bands when it comes to Spine Farm. So how familiar yeah. were you actually with the musicians? in the band obviously you know guy because he's your bandmate in winter sun <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah. the rest of the guys uh with the rest of the guys back in the spine farm days i met them briefly here and there but um but um i've i've known part of the nightwish family uh when it comes to management when it comes to the crew that is really really like a big family there which is just amazing to see besides the band that they're really like a really really close family there some of the guys i've met known and but some not so we've been have like a new new acquaintances now in the past months but it's been just unbelievably amazing that you like like whenever in life you just meet people and even you meet them for the first time you feel like they're so like-minded that you feel that you have a feeling that you've known them before, although you see the first time, if you know what I mean. And this is really, I'm, I'm really astonished, it, astonished by it. It really sounds even like a cliche, but it's not. I can swear, swear to that 100% that it's just amazing. And that's what I said that I, it's like the, when you have like-minded people playing great music, that's like the best combo that I ever, always wished for so obviously like marco hietala is a character on his own and he's basically irreplaceable when it comes yeah to like being a musician so how difficult decision it was for you to sort of join the band and thinking that you are actually replacing quite essential part of the band mm. well of course it was like uh a lot to process in the mental side in a way and when it comes to marco he's he's that guy is a legend yeah when it comes to the unique unique voice everything he has done with with nightwish with tarot and the other projects his solo stuff everything that you cannot replace somebody like that and always of course there's whoever there is a new guy coming you cannot replace the old one because everything is different and yeah nobody sounds the same than the old one does Absolutely, absolutely. And um, of course, I have to raise my hat to Marco for his decision. That must be the hardest decision ever to leave the band. But health comes first. What can you say that I I personally respect something like that a lot? Um, but yeah, obviously, he was a big, big image, a huge presentation on stage, wherever that guy is. So obviously those shoes are impossible to fill. And me, I'm not, I'm not trying even to do that. Um, it's totally a, totally a different thing. Of course, I'm just focused on the bass playing and helping the guys to complete the human nature tour as a session musician. And that's what it's all about. So new things, new things happening. It's always like, in and out in band worlds and and of course it can be a hit like for me being a fan of different bands and there's like some crucial lineup changes because with especially in bands the image are the people and when they change it can be a hard hit but um sometimes it's always when the new new people come in whether they do the same stuff as the older guys do they bring something new in And maybe the group also gets some new, different kind of energy to go onwards in a different path. And I think it's something like this is going on here, definitely. Yeah. So obviously you had to keep the secret on you <laughs> after yeah. after you were sort of given the position of 
the new Nightwish ba- bass it so yeah. how hard how hard was it to keep your mouth shut <laughs> <laughs> because for example I was such I was like making suggestions and 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 thoughts that who would be the bass it and I had mm. like I guess like four or five names that came up into my mind which would sort of yeah. fit but your name yeah. never popped up so was it hard to sort of be silent about it and not just yell it to the whole world <laughs> of course of course it was uh, but for me when I when we agree on something with the people I respect to the as much as I can we do a secrecy and that's that's what bad things are based on at least from my point of view it's based on trust two-way communication transparency yeah, yeah. that's what everything is based on and then comes the rest um yeah it was <laughs> it was really hard to do that but i have to say that i first it was a, for a few days like oh, oh oh like oh this is a lot to take now for some months to come but then you get used to the thought and um i i i didn't i had some people writing that Uh-huh. that <laughs> that there's a spot open and yeah you should go try it out and or maybe you're the one and what can i say no i'm not no i'm not no i'm not <laughs> and then then a few i i kept it kept it until the very end that nobody knew nobody knew only then my friends or well, obviously my family knew about it yeah, no yeah. one else Okay. My, even my friends, closest friends, I told them I gave a phone call just before, uh, just before the the time was about to be announced, and uh, of course everybody understood the point. Yeah. And my sure. other, my other bandmates, everybody, and of course there are you know, of course there are people that you can trust, but we we decided to do it you know, in the correct way. So that's what we did. So obviously you are yeah. active also in the winter sun. So yeah, was it okay for, for Yari that you are joining Nightwish? What kind of like actual plans does the band have at the moment? Or is it still in the face of making albums and there isn't like any yeah. sort of concrete plans at the moment? Yeah, um, obviously, yeah. All the guys, Yari, Asintemu, By everybody involved in Winter Sun, um, were totally okay with this, of course, and they supported 100%. Because Winter Sun is on a break, making a new album, on a new album making break, and there are no uh, precise planning now. It's about all the, uh, you know, the composing the music, and it's you cannot do those things maybe eight hours a day, and then the album is finished after a month. So. There are no plans at the moment, so it might take, you know, that the next Winters and Album comes out. I don't know, not in the, not in the nearest future. Yeah. So I am, I am fully, fully available, and I'm fully committed, 100% to, to be the session guy for Nightwish now, and that is my, that is my top priority now. Yeah. So obviously you just a couple of days ago played those two virtual shows and, and it's it's yeah. it's kind of interesting for you because you are a new ba- guy in the band and obviously you would sort of think that the first show would be a, a normal show but it was quite far <laughs> from normal show it was a virtual show being watched what what like 150 over 150,000 fans from 108 yeah. countries and it was like a new experience also for the band so i guess mm. we were living in quite interesting times like 15 minutes before the show started <laughs> yeah de- definitely that <laughs> would have been great to see the fans because what i personally love i love playing live music you know have the communication with people that it's not that that um if i see that people are having great time I'm also having great time and there's the special connection that there's a purpose to do that stuff. Yeah. That's what I love above everything else. Only of course I love playing for myself, but I want to play with others. That's really, really important for me. 
And now, of course, I would have wanted to see all the fans there, but you don't see anybody in a stream concert situation. You're there in your green bubble and you would need to perform for four people, but you don't see them. Yeah. But of, obviously, you enjoy playing the great music with the great guys. So, of course, you can have a nice party there that then reflects to the outside world. And But yeah, as a new guy, of course, it was a new experience for me. I... I'm being the newbie with Nightwish now the first time, first show. Then it's a streaming concert. I've never done that. And then top of that, you don't have any audience there. And for everybody else, of course, it was a new time, new uh, situation as well, that they've never done a stream concert. And then, of course, a new situation. There's a new guy in, involved in a life, life kind of a situation. So... It was a really new thing, but it went really nice, really well. We did, we had really uh, lots of fun there together. Everything worked really nicely. And I think it was just cool what you said that new, new, new situation many times, but it's, it's yeah. good that sometimes in life you've just been thrown into the fire in a way. And it might be like, oh, what is it going to be? But this is actually what ma many should do this take go in there it's gonna go fine yeah definitely you have great people around you great music enjoy or whatever you do in life take the risks go for it <laughs> yeah. i guess it was like the first show you sort of seemed a bit nervous in the beginning of the show but mm. obviously it went like real well but i guess for the second show you were also a bit more like relaxed in a way yeah um Of course, because it's a a new situation is always a new situation. And on top of, like I just said about streaming concert in many ways, kind of different layers of new things. And obviously for me, it's a very fresh, fresh thing um, that um, learning the songs, it's great to play them. But of course, like being in different band, uh, uh, being in bands in before as well, And still I'm in different bands that when you play them for many years, you have them in your backbone. And maybe like a one thing that many people can realize from new situations and fellow musicians that uh, when you have something fresh, you might need to concentrate more sometimes what you're playing because they are new songs for you. And not that kind of like everything is in your backbone and you just can't make a make some vaults or whatsoever well, yeah and you had to learn quite a lot of songs also because you played true different sets true. there was 21 songs in just in approximately two two months approximately time so yeah that was a lot lot to learn and it's of course if you if i want to say a bit more details about learning process of music that is it is not just that you learn the notes and the lip playing how the riffs go but you need to start make them groove as well and obviously when it comes to listen to the drummer everybody you need to have, find the groove and that that definitely needs the more you play the better they always go yeah but luckily you know Kai al already fairly well so you, you sort definitely, of have the yeah. groove from winter sun definitely and they're being really lucky dude this year that you been playing with great drummers, Kai and uh, Heikki from Fintroll, who's been in Winters as well, Rolf Stradivarius, Timo Hackin and the ex Sota Jumala guy. Being very lucky bass player to have really, really cool drummers in general, that when you have the great drummers, it's easier for everybody to play. So which songs were like the most challenging ones? For you to play oh. were there like some tracks that were sort of hard to learn and, and have that groove on well i have to say that in the end it was really like oh, i was on point at the very beginning the how it re felt really natural to play the the nightwish songs and i was even surprised by it because i thought there would be a lot of new different kind of territory to learn but um yeah there was few things that I haven't done in the past a lot that um, that Nightwish has a lot of the bass lines that if you have a bass guitar here you have this right hand palm muting 
all muting technique and that I haven't done in the past uh, really much. So that was something like new that I have to more carefully check how it, how it things go and how it, in what kind of plectrum technique it sounds the best. So that was maybe like something new. Otherwise, otherwise everything was really, really natural. Yeah. So obviously playing that virtual show was also important that you sort of play on time because there's quite a lot of happening behind you. So how difficult it was actually to be on time? Did you had to like rehearse a lot to make it happen? And did you actually play on like real time on those streams? Oh, you mean that the concerts were like live live situations? Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. What we did that we played them in pure honesty. We played them on one go. That is totally honest with all the mistakes and everything. Because I have to say that in the end, that is part of life. Yeah, it is. If you, if you polish things too much, you take the the soul soul out of the music. You need to have. I'm not just meaning mistakes, but all kinds of timing things. How you pl everybody plays that it sounds as human as possible and and authentic. And that's that's what we did. But we recorded the shows a few hours before um, the actual live online that it happened online. Why? Because um, there's a big film crew, and and if something um, breaks down, that the whole production crashes, that we were talking about this and we decided to do it so because there's a huge risk that that doesn't serve anybody if the whole production breaks down and then everybody would have a black screen. Who knows, maybe we couldn't get it even back online and if there's a yeah, black and it, screen it could break, take it, it could take like 30 minutes to get it back if, if it or it could be take for the next day if something yeah. bad happens who ever knows so that wouldn't serve anybody so we wanted to make it sure that it works out or maybe some system system would crash on the band side some instruments break down or you never know a lot of moving parts but what we did is like we did it in the honest way as things should be that we recorded it in one go just a few hours before that it's that it's authentic and that's how it, i think should things definitely should be yeah, Whatever, yeah what for what sure. band ever does those things yeah so obviously the next big step for you guys is getting back hopefully back on stage and playing a proper yeah. shows you have some shows lined up in finland for july and august if i mm -hmm. remember yeah. the dates correctly so how much are you actually looking forward to playing in front of a real live audience again? That would be the best thing, of course, that the shows would happen. And knock on wood, we hope that, of course, the shows would happen. And I wish it for everybody, actually. All the fellow bands who have been waiting now for a year and a half to get back on the road. Because that's the best thing, best thing possible to play the real, real real live shows and um, but we will see I think things look way more positive the shows out there but uh, of course it's not in our hands well of course things are in our hands when it comes to us humans and people to make things better regarding the pandemic we have we can affect it a lot on it but I wish I I wish that the shows would definitely happen and then we could get back on the road because that's the that's the best the one of the best parts in this whole thing to have the unique times with all the people in in concerts definitely yeah and I guess the fans are also expecting to hear the new songs finally in front of their yeah. eyes yeah now now everybody got the first glimpse to play a almost normally live with the streaming events with the new songs and i think that the newest album is just amazing really is uh, i love it a lot personally so, like so all the albums 
before we wrap things up, I must ask from the new album that what's actually your personal favorite song? Oh, um, there are many, but I think my personal one is the shoemaker. And one aspect to it, okay, the story behind it, the music, but I think this one of the unique songs I've ever heard when it comes to the structure of the song, that it's first like heavy metal playing, then it ends and starts an orchestrational part at the later part of the entire song and the heavy metal stuff doesn't come back. But the song just, um, it just expands and gets stronger and stronger and more powerful all the time. And that was just pure beauty in every way. So, hey, thanks a lot, Jukka, for your time and, and, and all the best Thank for you. the future. Anything you want to say as last words to all the Nightwish fans worldwide? I really hope we'll get to play the actual shows the soonest in all, all continents around the world, because all of us in the band and me as the new session guy are waiting to play live for you and have to share the special moments, because that's... That's something that nothing can replace. So I really, really hope we see you soon.